So I've been off sick, right? So I've had a, a well, just over a week and a half off because I got this stupid virus um, and a fever. So it's really kind of knocked me around a little bit. So I have had to take some time to kind of recuperate. So to kind of um, keep myself entertained, I've been doing a lot of videos and, and a lot of trailer reactions, watching movies and stuff. And I've just kind of decided that I just want to do a little simple chat to the camera and just talk a little bit about um, something that I was thinking about the other day. So I've been with Nicole 10 years, but before that, I lived with a couple guys from work out at Miranda, a place near Cronulla, down in southern Sydney, Garth and Kyle, who in turn were best friends. They grew up together for well, a long time before I met them. Uh, we all worked together at the local Woolworths. Like, I needed a place to stay because I lived further down the coast and I was commuting all the time up here to work. And we decided to rent out a flat together and the three of us moved in and, you know, had a great time. Like, we were young guys. I was older than them. I was about 32 at the time when I moved in with these guys. I know, I'm an old bastard. And they were just in their early 20s. So they're a couple of young, cocky guys, both really tall, taller than me both really fun and we often like to go out drinking and just you know having a good time we did muck around with a ouija board one day and i really strongly recommend that you don't muck around with a ouija board because seriously there was some strange shit that happened after that and it was really weird it kind of freaked us out for a while but yeah like i don't necessarily believe in all that stuff but that was just some weird shit and I won't go into it here because I don't want it. I don't. I don't want it to come back again. But it was really odd. Anyway, so not long after that, we were just going on about our days. Um, we all worked different shifts, right? So um, I was at my girlfriend's at the time for the day, and I needed to come back home to the flat for whatever reason to pick something up. So it was just a quick pop in visit. And I've got home. Kyle was at work, but Garth was in the shower. Now Garth is notorious for taking like epically long showers, like stupidly long hot showers. He would take about 30, 45 minutes, burn up all the hot water and just be in there forever, right? I suppose he was a dirty guy, really needed to clean himself. So anyway, I've got home this day to pick up whatever I needed to get and he's in the shower and I know he's going to be in there for a long time because I've heard him just kind of go in as I've come in through the front door. So he had no idea I was there. So for all this scary, spooky ghost shit in our heads at the time, I decided to play a bit of a practical joke. I went around to the kitchen, I opened up all the cupboard doors, like all of them, got all the chairs and stacked them up on the table, like upside down and, you know, kind of like a pyramid. It was pretty tricky. And turned the TV set on, put onto a static station and turned the volume down really low, um, closed all the blinds up and I went and I was laughing all the way. An hour or so later, I get a text from him saying, don't go home, weird shit, talk to you later. And I told my girlfriend at the time what I'd done and she's like, oh, that's really mean. And it was hilariously funny because I let it drag out for a little while. Garth didn't come home for about a week. I've gone about my business. He was swears to God the place is haunted, don't go back there. Eventually I decided to come clean. <laughs> I told him the truth. I said, dude, you're in the shower, I've come home, I set it all up. He was going to kill me. He's like, I'm staying away for another week because if I see you, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> he was like fully serious. He was legit scared to death of coming home because he believed there was like a poltergeist, like some kind of paranormal activity in the house and it was just all me. So that was pretty funny. Um, Kyle also heard about this. He thought it was hilarious as well. I wanted to get Kyle too. So, Kyle worked in the seafood department, so for him that meant being a fresh foodie, as we call them in Woolies, he had to be up at like at 3 in the morning, some ridiculous time of the day to get to work for a 4 or 5 o'clock start to get all the seafood out. The way I wanted to get Kyle was just a little bit something creative. I knew he'd be getting up really early in the morning for a shower, so what I wanted to do was just leave him a little surprise on the mirror. So what I did, there was some hand soap, just some liquid hand soap, which is really, really clear. So I just went to the mirror and I wrote get out on the mirror like nice big you know right in the middle of the mirror and to just look at the mirror you couldn't see the hand soap at all it was invisible so when you're looking at the mirror it was just clear it was just clear glass you couldn't see nothing however when steam hit it 
the mirror fogged up and the get out, the writing, clear as day. So I had that set up for him and 3 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning, he gets up, has a shower, like he brushes his teeth, has a shower, gets in, the, in there and steams up the bathroom. Lo and behold, a mysterious, eerie text appears on the mirror, get out. <sighs> However, this is where it backfires on me. I like my sleep. I was out like a light. I had to be up at like 6 in the morning myself for when I had to go to work. Carl comes banging into my room, like seriously banging the door down, kicking it open. So he kicks open the door. He's banging the door. Dude, dude, get up. Get up. Come look at this. Come look at this, dude. I'm like, oh, what? Get up, man. Come look at this. You got to look at this, man. You got to see this. You, gotta, you, you just got to come, man. Just come, come. I'm like, it's three in the morning, dude. Dude, you got to go. I didn't want to get up. I knew what he was going on about. And I saw a thought, this has gone really wrong. I said, I did it, you fucking idiot. It's a joke. Door slammed. He didn't talk to me for a week. <laughs> Which was fine by me because the guy was a little bit weird. Sorry if you're watching this, Carl. You just were. So, um, I just had a bit of fun with the guys. Like, you're young, you're stupid. And, well, I was 30-something, so I wasn't really young and stupid. But I was just thinking about that the other day. And, man, I really wished that I had had my YouTube channel in operation back then. I didn't have the means. I only had a stupid little Nokia camera on my phone, so I wasn't really good at recording videos, plus, you know, stealthy and setting all that kind of stuff up. Not like all the other guys who set up these elaborate pranks on YouTube and film it. So that would have been really cool to, to, to capture. And if I did something like that to Nicole today, I'm pretty sure I would no longer be engaged and I'd be living on the street, so I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I just wanted to share my little story with you. Just have a little bit of a vlog, just me, you, and a camera, and that was bad, that's about it. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for checking into my channel, I'll catch you in the next video, thanks for watching.